While Big Sky Conference schools like Portland State won't get on the football field until the spring, more open states like Idaho will be allowed to begin practices this week. Fox 12's Nick Krupke went one-on-one -on -one with an incoming University of Idaho freshman from Vancouver whose college career has taken a different turn. I want to have a season, of course, but just with everything going on, I really have no idea where they're going or what will happen with the season. Zooming from his dorm in Moscow, Idaho, Caleb Jordan is rested, tested, and waiting for the first day of official fall camp with his Vandals on the Palouse. When you get here, mandatory five-day quarantine, and then you wait for your test results, and of course you're anxious to get out there and be with the team. That's what you want to do when you get here instead of just waiting, but... It's all a part of the process and making sure everybody else is staying healthy as well. How well are they handling protocols and safety and all that stuff? I believe the Idaho is the number one school in the big sky with their testing and the way they're doing it. And we haven't had a lot of cases with the team. It hasn't been much. So that's been good. They're keeping us well and safe and making sure everybody's well and being able to practice keeping that good flow. Beyond football, no matter if the Vandals play non-conference games or not this fall, it's on to the studies flow with a hybrid of online and in-person studies for CJ, who is interested in psychology. Just learning about the brain. With me growing up and having a couple concussions, like just learning different ways that affects you and outside of concussions, just mentally how certain things trigger certain, uh, certain situations, trigger certain... Uh, re reactions in your brain and how all that stuff works. Air Jordan was grounded after suffering a torn meniscus in week seven with his Union Titans last fall. Then came the fall of the spring sports season, which meant no time for Caleb on the diamond as well. It was mainly to play baseball for my mom because she wanted to see me play my last year. So that would have been fun for her. Jordan is no stranger to new surroundings. After attending two years at Jefferson High, was on the Clackamas, then senior year at Union in Vancouver. What did it mean to you to be a Union Titan? It was everything. I mean, when I first got there, it was super welcoming. The team brought me in as one of their own. I made a lot of brothers. Brothers I'll have for the rest of my life from there. Um, Coach Rowe was one of the best coaches that I've ever had. And you just everything fell at home. I mean, the learning process, we're learning a new playbook for the third year in a row. Made it a lot easier. We got to get a Go Titans out of you then. Yep, Go Titans. And Go Vandals, for, of course. Yeah. And go Vandal. Awesome. Caleb Jordan, good luck to you, man. Senior salute and then uh, freshman salute to you as well. Thank you.